Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the Reverend Wilhelmina Nesbitt, Rector of St John the Evangelist Church in Greenock. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the invitation to be here. In the town of Greenock, where I live and work, we have a well-known viewpoint called Lyle Hill. And from the top of Lyle Hill, you can overlook uh, the Firth of Clyde across to the islands and the hills beyond. And it's a beautiful and uplifting sight, even on the many rainy days we get in Greenock. But while I often stop on Lyle Hill during my rounds to enjoy the views, the time always comes to go back down to where my fellow people are and get back to work. In Christian tradition, even Jesus Christ himself couldn't stay on the Mount of Transfiguration, enjoying God's glory, but had to return to where people were in need of his service and his love. His mission was to walk shoulder to shoulder with others, especially the exploited and voiceless. In our little Episcopal Church congregation, we try to model, as many of the other Greenock churches do, that practical care in our community involvement. Our hall is given over to Compassionate Inverclyde, where the lonely and the bereaved meet for food and friendship and a trained listening ear if needed. We offer support to Mind Mosaic, a charity that takes under its wing toddlers and teenagers putting their lives back together again after abuse or family breakup or mental illness. And similarly, with Inverclyde starter packs, where families and single people are referred so they can be equipped with basic housekeeping necessities when they make a new start in a flat or house after being homeless or out of work. We try to walk with our fellow creatures through the rough times. Now, sometimes... Sometimes those of us who have the privilege to lead others also have more opportunities to enjoy the uplifting views from the hilltop of that privileged position. But it is actually down on the level, side by side with our fellow men, women and children of every condition, where we can ultimately be most valuable in what we can offer. This is where humane, enlightened public service to others leads us to where the vulnerable and the less powerful require our support and agency, enabling them to live fuller and more hopeful lives. Today is a crucial day in our national political life, so may you be enabled in your endeavours through this Parliament in the potential uncertainties of the months that lie ahead to work with courage and wisdom in your vocational task of walking shoulder to shoulder with the people of Scotland. May God bless you all. <laughs> 